That is who he is. And the reason why you have to understand that is because you, if you don't understand who Jesus is, you will not understand who the Holy Spirit is. You can't understand the Holy Spirit until you understand who Jesus is. You know why? Does anybody want to know, know why? Mm -hmm. Yes. Why? 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 <laughs> I, I want to know why. <laughs> I want to know why. Okay. What is the purpose of the Holy Spirit? To keep us. No. They ain't got nothing to do with you. Right. To fill yeah. his power. No. Do you know that he has only one purpose? Cory Bell, Cory Bell, tell Cory Bell said, Cory don't tell him what is the purpose. Because that's a long time to go. Right, I'm telling you, right? you need to come. The purpose of the Holy Spirit it has only one purpose. Believe it or not, all that comes out of the purpose. But there's only one purpose that the Holy Spirit has: to, to testify on Jesus. Oh, that's the whole purpose. The Holy Spirit will not testify on anything else but Jesus. That's all it would testify. And it's in the whole gospel to testify about Jesus? Precisely. But how do you know if the gospel is true if you don't have a spirit of truth that lives in your faith? Because it would just be a regular, uh, it would be just like religion. But what the Holy Spirit does, it manifests Jesus. That's how he testifies on Jesus. How do you have the gospel? If it wasn't for the Holy Spirit, you would not have the gospel. How did Paul knew who Jesus was? Because he never saw Jesus, correct? Correct me if I'm wrong. Did Paul ever see Jesus? But he knew the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit primary job, that's his main job, is to testify on Jesus. To manifest Jesus to the church. Prove it. That is the whole purpose. Just as a proof. Prove it. Prove it. <laughs> so let's go to the scripture. Mm -hmm. uh, John. Unfortunately, some of my notes didn't get. Purpose of the Holy Spirit. Wow. That is the purpose 
of the Holy Spirit is to manifest Christ to his church. Mm. The Holy Spirit does that two ways. He manifests who Jesus is as the Son of God and Jesus is as the Christ. That's what he does. This is where people are confused in the church today. The Holy Spirit will not testify on himself. You know, that's what the scripture says. So if the Holy Spirit will not testify on itself, will the Holy Spirit testify on him? No. no. Mm. What do you mean? You're not 